knows? Maybe one day we'll see this next guest name here on the BC Sports Hall of Fame Wall of Fame. We have the story of Mitchell Gordon and how he's one step closer to realizing his 2014 Olympic dream. After landing a career first, his Olympic dreams have inched closer to reality. Good. The third time at uh, a national level competition. And so this year, he was really determined that it was going to happen. He's really come a long way in mastering the way he thinks and the way he competes. He was calm, which is good. Very focused. He's now the national pre-novice champion after winning the BMO Skate Canada Challenge. In the short program, I was third. Then in the long program, uh, I made it up quite well, and I ended up winning it. It, it was pretty thrilling. He's very intense about his skating and very motivated to do well. He loves competition. He always wants to win. He used to watch his big sister. And he was at the rink when he was two and three watching her, and it was very hard to keep him off the ice. Put the big As a child, he favored figure skating over hockey because he loved to spin. Mitchell is one of the most naturally talented skaters that I've worked with, really dedicated, um, works very, very hard, understands his sport really well. And the closeness of the Olympics a month away in his own backyard is driving him even harder. Seeing that it's a possibility to get there. When you're at the lower levels, you see it, but you don't see how to get there. And then as you progress through the levels and progress through your skills and get more skills, you suddenly realize that you're doing what a lot of the top people are doing. A lot of the facilities are getting a lot better and it's making me think they're really, the Olympics are really close now. And it's giving me kind of a mind frame of what it will be like when I get to, if I get to go. I know he wants it, absolutely. Um, I can see it in his eyes when he's working and when he's in a competition. But there's still plenty of work to do before 2014, when he'll likely have his first shot at Olympic glory. He's on the ice Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. That's coupled with uh, flexibility class once a week, strength and conditioning class once a week, dry land jumping class once a week. I think it's half and half with physical and mental. Because you have to be really mentally strong to keep your head in the game for like competitions and stuff because you can get pretty stressed out and stuff. Luckily, the most important requirement is already there. Mitchell doesn't really like doing things that he doesn't like doing, like most kids. So when he gets up and will early in the morning to come skating or stays up late in order to go skating and then get his homework done, I can tell he's enjoying it. In Richmond, I'm Peter Kim for The Express. Mitchell's next big test will be the BC Winter Games in March, and he's hoping to have the triple loop mastered by then. We have lots more action still to come on today's Express, from snowboarding kids to Canuck captains, including Phil Maloney.